Hello my true crime lovers and welcome to 31 Nights of Halloween. All October long we will be going over nothing but Halloween topics from true crime stories to scary stories and true stories behind our favorite movies. Now Halloween is one of my favorite times of the year. I love dressing the kids up and going trick-or-treating. I love eating candy and painting pumpkins and watching scary movies. But have you ever wondered what the true meaning of Halloween was or where it came from and how it started or what it really means? Well, what better way to start 31 Nights of Halloween? But first make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell if you haven't already. Okay, now that we got that out the way, let's go ahead and get into today's video on the story behind Halloween. Halloween is more than 2,000 years old, with its origins coming from the Celts, who would have big festivals on October 31st to celebrate the end of the harvest season. October 31st was also their new year, where they believed it was a magical time where spirits would be able to walk the earth. The villagers would have big bonfires, believing that they would drive the spirits back to the dead and not come in contact with the living. They also would wear masks or place pumpkins and turnips out to keep the spirits from coming near them. Now, the European Catholic churches really frowned on the pagan ways of this ritual, and in the 7th century, they started to merge it with a church-sanctioned holiday that they called All Hallows' Eve or All Saints Eve, and this is where they would honor the saints and pray for recently departed souls who have yet to reach heaven. During the 1840s, this holiday would make its way to America, when a wave of Irish immigrants came and brought their holiday customs with them, like bobbing for apples and playing tricks on their neighbors. The young pranksters would wear masks so they wouldn't be recognized and this is where the Halloween costumes originated from. Now, in the 1930s, the pranks started to turn into vandalizing and became dangerous and this is when trick-or-treating was created. Trick-or-treating was more like a bribe back then. We will give you candy and treats so you won't destroy your homes and businesses. In other places like England, people would get together on Halloween and they would call themselves solars. And they would go souling, which meant that they would go door to door in rich areas asking for treats or soul cakes in exchange for prayers for their loved ones. So they basically would pray for them or their families if they gave them treats. So the United States pretty much just borrowed ideas from other countries and their cultures to create Halloween. Candy companies really started pushing the holiday as well when their sales started to skyrocket around Halloween. After that, people started getting into making and selling costumes. First, the costumes were based off of old folk tales and legends like vampires, fairies, mummies, werewolves, witches, and then gradually started to base costumes off of professions like cops, doctors, firefighters, and so forth. Then after that, they started basing them off of characters like off of Disney. From there, they would start making scary movies and they started really pushing Halloween decor. They used pumpkins and jack-o'-lanterns because that's what was used back in the day to scare the souls away. And they would use ghosts and spider web anything that was kind of scary or represented death in some way. Now, we got our Halloween colors like black and orange and purple basically from them just being fall colors. So, there it is. That's how Halloween came to be. Not really as satanic as some people believe it to be. I mean, I actually think more people should take the day not just to celebrate by getting dressed up and getting candy, but to also take some time to remember your loved ones who have passed away and send your prayer their way. So maybe that can be a new tradition we all add to our Halloween celebration. 
And let me know down in the comments what Halloween topics you would like me to cover this month as well. And thank you guys so much for watching 31 Nights of Halloween with me. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more content. And I'll see you guys next time.